All right, what up, y'all? It's your boy, Martin, a.k.a. The Boxing Purist. Welcome once again to the Truth and Absolute channel, where I speak the truth and nothing but the truth. So help me, good God almighty. All right, y'all, now, if you've been a part of the channel, welcome back. If this is your first time here, you just walked into a gold mine. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, the dislike button. It's all love. Drop a comment down below if you want to engage in some boxing chat. So now let's jump right into this. Say it isn't so, say it isn't so. If y'all know right now, by now, shoot, I even forgot the guy's name. Canelo Alvarez has been ordered by the IBF to defend his belt against challenger, what's the guy's name? William something. I literally forgot the name. William Skull, I believe his name is. Now, this came as a shocker to me. This came as a surprise because... Uh, so pretty much they got to negotiate this fight now. If not, it's going to go into the bid, right? Now, I can't even, I don't, this dude, so the guy is, from what I hear, he's a slick Cuban fighter based out of Germany, right? I guess he's been a mandatory for Canelo for about two years now, and the IBF is now saying, yo, it's time to fight this dude. Now, this, this is rubbing me the wrong way big time, okay? Now, this is the problem with talking so soon and saying certain things. Now, if y'all know, man, I like Canelo, okay? I like Canelo, but this is the truth and absolute channel. If it makes a lot of you guys feel better, I correct my own kids, right? So if I correct my own kids, I got to keep it real with the people that I comment on. Now, nobody, including myself, is going to like this fight. I get that Canelo, and I've said it, and, I, and yeah, I agree with him. I agree that Canelo has earned a place in his career now where he could call the shots. He could fight whoever he wants to fight, all of the above. I agree with that part. But at the same time, your choices, the choices that you make, you're going to get feedback and you're going to get backlash. That's, that's just the responsibility that comes with you calling yourself, and with good reason, the shot caller in the sport of boxing. You know, Canelo has said over and over he could fight whoever he wants, he could do whatever he wants, and that is true. However, by saying that you're the shot caller, somehow you could, de you could decline this fight against William Skull or whatever his name is, right? And I'm not taking away from the dude, this just was unexpected. There's going to be a backlash for that. The only way to defend this fight right here is if it's not a pay-per-view. Canelo, do not make this fight a pay-per-view. Do not do it. Because then Canelo's going to face huge backlash. Now, I've never been one to say Canelo's ducking nobody because the guy's resume does not show that, right? However, Canelo has gone saying that certain fights disrespect the sport. Like when boxers, professional boxers, great boxers fight YouTubers. You know what I'm saying? He had Canelo had huge criticism of Floyd for all the fights that he was doing against YouTubers. And I agree with that point. Now, technically, if Canelo takes this fight, it's not against a YouTuber. It's against a mandatory challenger. And that's cool. That's cool, too. But at the same time, there's other fights out there that are a lot more interesting, especially if you're still going to demand that the people pay $89.99 to watch the fight. OK, now I get it. We all get it. Canelo, his legacy is cemented. There's nothing that you could do from it, for it. However, although his legacy is cemented for what he's done inside that ring, these last fights and I'm saying last fights because I feel like Canelo is near the end, not because he doesn't look good inside that ring, but just because at some point he's going to hang him up. He's made his money. He's done what he's done. There will be a little part of your resume you know what I'm saying? That is going to show that your last few opponents weren't nothing great. Munguia was a good fight, solid to pay for. The same as Jamel Charlo, just because they're names at the very least. But this guy, William whatever, is not. And, and I hate to say it like that, but it's not unless it's not a pay-per-view. But one of my dudes, my man Javi, made a really good point. Javi, he's from San Diego. He's my dude, huge boxing fan, right? If right now or tomorrow they announce that Canelo has declined to face this but instead chooses to fight Edgar Berlanga in September, now that fight's going to be just a little bit more appealing because Canelo Berlanga makes for a, it, it makes for an entertaining fight because you know there's going to be a knockout. You know it's not going to go past six rounds. And 
I obviously favor Canelo to be Berlanga for Berlanga's lack of experience and fighting style. But nonetheless, now that fight's going to sound a lot more attractive. Uh, you know, Edgar Berlanga, Canelo, Mexico versus, well, you know, Edgar Berlanga, I believe he's from New York. He's not from Puerto Rico. But Canelo, you know what I'm saying, Mexico versus Puerto Rico, now it gains, it gains a lot of traction because it sounds better than Canelo versus William whatever you know what i'm trying to say um so we'll see what canelo chooses to do again man we never really know this could be some marketing stuff um and yes fighters when they tend to fight a lot of high level opposition they'll get a, a give me fight i like to call them which is just a stay busy fight the only problem is, is that canelo already recently had one of those when he fought john Ryder a, a little bit over a year ago although the john Ryder fight he was coming back from a hand injury um obviously didn't stop Ryder, but you could only get so much of those especially when you're demanding that much money you know what i'm saying I get it. You know, he's in the driver's seat, but these kind of fights, ugh, I don't like them. I don't like them. But if I'm real about it, what makes the most sense, this fight is going to get backlash. They're going to be talking about this really, really bad. I see Canelo declining and going with the Edgar Berlanga fight in September. That's the only thing that makes sense right now. It's the only thing that makes sense. And then after that, we will see. We know that the dudes in Saudi Arabia want to make Canelo versus Terrence Crawford. Another fight that I don't like, and I just don't know what's going on, man. I mean, there's fights out there for Terrence Crawford, you know. This is the, the business part about it, and this is where a lot of fans tend to get turned off about it. But at the same time, some people, it turns them on if all you're seeking is names. So we'll see what Canelo chooses to do. I'm not personally a fan of this. The man has called himself a shot caller. If it is so, make the right shots. Call the right shots, Canelo, please. Do not face this dude. Decline it. You're in the driver's seat. Don't do it. At very least, fight Edgar Berlanga. But again, y'all, this is just what's out there right now. We don't know what's going on. We know people are going to talk. I can't wait to see what Pauli Malignaggi is going to say about this, just because, you know, he always goes so, so extra. So let me know what you guys think about this, man. And again, y'all, you know, I, I understand sometimes being a fan of someone, you don't ever want to call them out on nothing. But you got to keep it real. And I'm just asking you guys out there, do y'all like this fight if it were to go through? And again, saying you don't like it, you're not taking away from Canelo. You're just saying you don't like this particular fight. Do not want it to happen. Do y'all prefer to see him in the ring with William whatever or my dude Edgar Belanga? Drop a comment down below. We'll keep talking on the subject for a while, y'all. And it is fight week. You'll see a lot more of me. Y'all enjoy your day. Much love. God bless. And remember, the truth shall set y'all free. Peace.